Hi, and welcome to Five Minutes or More with the Script Mentor. I am the Script Mentor and your host, Gino Scala. Today, we're going to go over some unique questions that I get from any one of 500 mentees uh, that I'm currently working with. And um, one such question was, but wait, where, where do I put the title? And uh, where do I put the, the cast list? And they believe that this is part of their screenplay, which is not. And that is a more of a common misconception than, than you might believe. And the problem with this is they have been told over the years to find screenplays online and copy the formatting, and you will make these mistakes. They're never actually learning how to write a screenplay. They're simply taking, you know, the final product and believing that resembles what we do as spec screenwriters. And let me tell you, outside of a few words and some lines of dialogue and maybe a character name or two, what, what, what was originally your spe spec screenplay and what usually ends up on the screen are unrecognizable. You cannot, you would never know that this screenplay was the impetus for this particular movie. Other than perhaps the plot or the subject matter or who knows, maybe even the title. But even so, most titles don't make it from the spec to the actual movie. Now, I know a, a professional screenwriter who's had seven or eight produced movies, he reiterates this as a burning issue. If they were so interested in the screenplay to begin with, why doesn't it resemble anything like the original screenplay? He doesn't really care because he's been paid uh, handsomely for that screenplay. And, you know, multiply that by seven, and he's, he's done quite well. He's had many, um, you know, A-list actors, Guy Pierce, Dave Bautista, Steven Seagal, things of that nature, uh, people of that nature. And it, it, the writer's name is Chuck Hussmeyer. I mean, he's, he's quite familiar to a lot of you, and he's, uh, he's one of the best. Ideally, you know, he had a vision. He wrote it, he liked it, other people liked it, and someone paid for it. So why wasn't that good enough for the screen? Now, I've had three movies produced, and none of them, uh, the plot was similar, but once they were uh, written for the producer and I, I was paid, it changed so much that um, it did make Amazon Prime and they're currently on Tubi. But they're, you know, somewhat low budget. N neither had any name actors. So just based on that alone, they're, you know, uh, low budget films. But the bottom line is your screenplay doesn't really resemble the final project. But getting back to the issue is if you don't know at this point that you're the title card and the, the cast list or even in one screenplay I recently read, every character was described, properly described, age, physical appearance, what they did, uh, you know, what type of uh, work they did in the script. 
and then in parentheses they would include a actor to play him now i have said before that i have written screenplays with actors in mind i understand it pers it helps me to write uh, a particular character after uh based on a particular actor now what you don't do is include the actor's name in the screenplay played by samuel l jackson played by you know ryan reynolds of that nature now i recently was involved in a project that was uh where bruce willis was uh considered as uh, the lead i mean it got to the point where we had a casting director and so forth well this was before of course uh, bruce's uh, very sad retirement from the business it's a few years back but um our people got a hold of him and his requirement was a million dollars a day. That was his cost. So it makes it made sense later on when we saw a lot of his videos coming out several times a year where he was in the opening scene or had one or two lines in scenes throughout. It, it, it was obvious that at a million dollars a day, they wanted to get his lines filmed in the least amount of time as possible. That is, those are some of the issues that I see uh, new writers, including in their screenplays. And it's basically because they don't have a solid foundation in the craft. Now, if you are interested in getting this solid foundation in the craft, please reach out to the script mentor. We will give you a, uh, we will work with you, provide you a program. You will uh, receive our 20 day screenplay uh, video series and collection of eBooks. And we will work with you on your screenplay for as many screenplays as you care to write. Okay? So get a hold of me. All right? And that'll do it for this episode of Five Minutes or More with the Script Mentor. And we'll talk to you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.